there, Rideshare community. How are you? I'm glad to see that you're back for this week and Rideshare news. So, Uber and Lyft announced more app updates. Didn't we already do this? <laughs> eh, yeah, we kind of did. But these are major app updates, okay? So anyway, last week Uber announced several security updates. We talked about that in my previous video. This week, they offer more updates to Uberize your life. Yes, that is a thing. Uber will continue to combine both their rideshare and food delivery services in one app. Wow. In addition, they are planning to add a four digit pin verification system to make sure riders don't get into the wrong vehicle. So to start, riders will give you a pin. If it matches, the ride will start. If not, kick them out of your car. I'm not kidding. Um, I thought this would be really good for drivers since this sort of thing kind of affects drivers more than riders. But in the future, the rider's phone will send this ultrasonic signal to the driver's phone automatically to verify the pen. Very cool. And for drivers, they've announced the following. An earnings estimator to help drivers better keep track of their money. A demand heat map, which highlights areas where more riders are requesting trips and to predict where drivers might be able to get a trip request and back to busy filter when a driver completes a trip in a quiet area, which is a non busy area, they can turn this on and it'll help them filter the trip request back into the direction of your choice. They're currently doing a B testing to work out the kinks. So if you don't see this update, you will in the near future. Now on to Lyft. Uh, Lyft also announced major changes this week to their app. In their app, you'll be able to find Lyft cars, scooters, bikes, and public transportation, which means Lyft has no problem offering other alternatives to their rideshare service. So Lyft plays nice. Like many big cities, Seattle is facing unprecedented growth in a population wealth that need affordable housing and transportation as well. Bottom line, they need money. Major Durkin responds with legislation providing worker protection for thousands of Uber drivers to increase the investment of transportation projects, uh, provide more housing uh, for low wage workers. And so she plans to add a 50 cent charge on every single Uber or Lyft ride. This tax is estimated to raise over $25 million a year over the next five years. Uh, if you're interested in he reading more about that, that link is in the description. I think this is a great idea as long as that money goes to rideshare drivers. So uh, my favorite segment, hopefully it's yours too. What would you do in this case? I was riding with a Lyft driver who pretty much shared about 20 minutes of horrific stories for her first two months, two, first two months driving for Lyft. Um, but one thing that she shared with me is something that I thought to bring up with you. And she said that of all the people that acted inappropriately with her, she found that they all sat in the front seat. And she said, she's to the point where no one can sit in the front seat. She doesn't care who you are. She has the seat moved up. She's got the, the seat at an angle, like do not dare to sit in that seat. And she said she finds when people start to argue with her about sitting in that seat, she has a feeling that person's gonna do a lot more to encroach on her boundaries and she just she just canceled the ride. So I it's not necessarily like what you would do in this case, but do you find that w the people that have acted inappropriately with you or have um, encroached on your boundaries, have messed with your personal property without your consent, like all of that stuff, have you found that those people typically sat in the front seat or not? I'm just kind of curious. So if you don't respond to anything else, in the comment, let me know where that person was sitting in your car. <laughs> Maybe we can figure it out, you know? Maybe we could do like a personality assessment by trying to figure out who's more likely to turn up and get kicked out of your car. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. At any rate, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe to this channel. This is the Ride Share Guy channel. Harry is that guy. If you're not following him, you need to. Lots of information, tips, and resources for you. And if you're curious about who I am and what I do, my name is Cecily. I have my own channel called Drive Girl Drive. And you can hit me up on YouTube and Facebook. And if you stalk me or spam me, you will get blocked. Bye.